In this video, we are looking at uh, how to get started with OpenVPN. Uh, we will look at how to create an account and how to navigate through the administration portal. So in order to create an account, you need to visit the openvpn.net. So go ahead, go to openvpn.net. And then once on the page, on the upper right corner, you see a link that says create account. Click on create account. Next page, it will ask you for the email address and to create a password. So we're going to go ahead and type the email address and we're going to create a password here. And then click on sign up. Now, there will be a code uh, emailed to your inbox. So let's go ahead and check our email. And we have the registration code here. So we're going to go ahead and grab this code. Let's go back to the previous page and type the code here. Once we confirm the code, uh, then we can choose what a product we would like to sign uh, for, either Access Server or OpenVPN Cloud. So here I'm going to choose OpenVPN Cloud. Now, in this screen, it's going to ask you for some information. So go ahead. Uh, type the information here and I'm going to pause the video here once we're done I'll come back when you're done with the information and click on continue on the next screen is going to ask you to create a WPC ID for yourself so let's take a second and talk about this uh, OpenVPN cloud will create a wide area private cloud or WPC which is a secure private overlay network created for you that can be accessed from more than 30 worldwide locations. This network is created and is ready for use immediately after you choose the name here. You'll be connecting the networks that host your applications and resources to the WPC and then add the users that need access to them from the administration portal. Cloud ID is a unique identifier for my WPC and eventually becomes a subdomain for OpenVPN Com that can be used to access the administration portal and import uh, the connection profile for clients. Use your company name if available. Now, keep in mind this WPC ID or this cloud ID will uh, cannot be changed in the future. So make sure you choose something that is appropriate and you would like to use. So here I'm going to just choose uh, OpenVPN Lab. Uh, let's do 23 and then I'm going to click on create WPC. You get redirected to this page uh, the first time you log into the administration portal. As you can see, there are some information here about some of the features of OpenVPN Cloud such as domain routing, single sign-on and so on. If you click on quick start, uh, you're going to get step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure your environment and use the administration portal. For example, here you can see uh, talking about downloading a VPN client. And if you go to the next chapter, you can read about how to uh, create a network. Then you got host user authentication and other features that you can set. Let's go ahead and look at the administration portal. We're going to start from the status page. Status page is where you can see what is happening in your environment. You can see how many active networks you have, how many users are active, how many devices and connections and so on. You can also uh, export this information to a CSV file which is going to be emailed to you. Next tab is users. This is where you can create your users or your groups based on your environment. Uh, keep in mind that you can use your own identity provider such as Windows My Active Directory or Azure Active Directory or Okta or any other identity providers that you may be using right now. The only thing is that you need to configure SAML or LDAP so they can talk to uh, OpenVPN Cloud or your WPC. And that can be done by going to settings and then user authentication. And as you can see down here, we got SAML or LDAP that you can enable. Now, while I'm on this page, let's look at the two-factor authentication. You can enable two-factor authentication when open VPN cloud also. So the next step we're going to look at is networks. This is probably when you're going to start your journey with uh, OpenVPN cloud. 
this is where you're going to create your network as you can see there is an option here to create a network you can choose uh, to use the wizard or you can skip the wizard but um, highly recommended to go through the steps with the wizard you can choose what type of uh, network uh, you would like to have based on your environment uh, you can choose one or multiple and then once you're done click and continue and follow the steps in one of the steps when you're creating network you need to deploy your uh, network connector as you can see we have connector available for uh, different operating systems different cloud providers uh, different uh, compatible routers so you have options when it comes to uh, deploying connectors let's look at the next tab it's going to be host this is where you can create your host um, again uh, wizard driven you can click on create host and uh, give the information and go through the steps uh, to create the host access and access group um, this is where you can enable access controls um, for your uh, user groups and and resources um, as you can see here we have the default full mesh access group right now set and that's because our topology is set to full mesh so if you look at here if I go under settings to WPC um, you can see my topology is set to full mesh now if I click on edit and change it to custom and update this now I go back to access group now I have option to create different access groups now so you, I can create uh, different access levels for uh, different user groups and resources within uh, my environment the next step that we're gonna look is gonna be shield this is the page that you'll see when the first time you try to configure your shield the shield is consists of domain filtering and traffic filtering so you can choose what type of uh, domain filtering uh, you would like to have and then click on enable the next screen is going to get you to traffic filtering again you can choose what type of uh, traffic filtering uh, you would like to have and enable that so traffic filtering is the IDS and IPS as you can see there are uh, multiple uh, priority and categories available to filter to traffic when it comes to domain filtering there are 43 categories available and then we also have allow list and block list that you can configure based on your environment looking at the settings um, as you can see user authentication we already talked about SAML and LDAP and the two-factor authentication and uh, DNS this is where you can uh, configure an external DNS server if you would like to use or you can just use the open VPN DNS server the DNS record uh, records tab is where you can add any type of DNS records if you choose to do so now under documentation very quickly we got the knowledge base which is going to redirect you to our website and to our knowledge base there are good amount of information here for you to go through and then we got the support center uh, link on the administration portal as well so if you click on that it's going to get you connected to our support center for creating tickets or viewing your current tickets